my mission specifically was to act as an advise and assist team to the Ministry of Peshmerga in Erbil. So I was working with the Kurds, also working with our coalition partners and how they trained and resourced the Peshmerga. Uh, the mission initially was to go over and partner with the Iraqis and continue to train them for, uh, for, for their follow-on missions against ISIL. And uh, then we transitioned a little bit to the uh, advise and assist mission to help them in the combat operations. And one of the concerns that we had was how, how are our Iraqi partners going to perceive us uh, after uh, having um, you know, left in, uh, at the end of Operation New Dawn and, and you know, what, what, what themes are, are they carrying, good or bad, um, that will inform our initial relationship. And I was pleased to, uh, pleased to um, learn and experience that we were welcomed back with open arms. They were really happy that, that we were there. And so I, I, was, I was happy to you know, see the same level of, of commitment and trust and partnership that I had recalled from previous deployments. When, when the brigade first arrived, the, the Nino Operations Command really didn't exist. They, they had a few officers. However, over the course of time, they went from having just a few officers to having a complete staff, having two battalions that worked directly for them. Shortly before we left, they moved out to a camp near, near the eastern border of Iraq. And then shortly thereafter, they've moved up to Camp Mockmore up in the Kurdistan region in preparation for follow-on operations in the future to be able to liberate Nineveh and Mosul. We set uh, the build partner and capacity sites uh, located at Besmaya and at Taji, and our guys were responsible for training the Iraqi army units uh, to prepare them to go out into, uh, into the fight. Uh, the Iraqi units, they show up to us having a basic understanding of uh, how to do soldier tasks with a little bit of an understanding of how to do uh, fire maneuver at a small unit level. And we put them through uh, six week and three week POIs, periods of instruction. So uh, six week instruction is really just a lot of basic buddy team movements, um, teaching them marksmanship, making sure they understand how to actually fire maneuver as a small team and move all up to squad live fires. After that, they go into a three week short period of instruction. Uh, and that is more collective tasks moving up to closer to a platoon to a company live fire with uh, them fighting as a larger element. The biggest thing that we were trying to do, especially with, as we were advising the, the Iraqis, is to teach them the value of predictive intelligence. So taking the, the information they had and turning it into, and analyzing it and turning it into something where they could see what the enemy was doing and be able to predict the enemy's next few moves. I'd go out and visit training and see our guys, you know, doing individual training with the Iraqis uh, on the ground, for instance, utilizing uh, the NATO weapons that were provided. Um, and you see the confidence that is instilled. You know, they have the will to fight. Uh, you know, they want us to be there. We are uh, kind of like their security blanket. We don't really have to do anything but just the fact that we're there to provide them, you know, what they need. Uh, it, it makes a big difference, and I think the brigade was very successful in the mission. We took Iraqi forces who had very little ability to do collective, uh, uh, even buddy level um, fire maneuver. And by the time that we would push them out to begin fighting against uh, in other regions of the country, they were very well equipped. So they had new weapons, uh, equipment and they had the basic understanding of how to fight together as a team. It resonates that this is a commitment and, and that, we're, that, that we are part of that commitment and we're there to help. Uh, there are relationships that we built uh, in the first eight years that we were there that we were able to capitalize on. The relationship that I had with my counterpart, and I know I speak for the rest of our team, that we had with our staff counterparts in the, in, in the BAC, you know, the, those bonds were, 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 were greater than anything we, we have experienced in similar roles and in similar capacities in Iraq and Afghanistan over the past decade.